This is the weekend edition of iFiber One News, where we present some of the top stories from this week and your weekend weather forecast. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to just a great weekend. Temperatures will be a few degrees cooler, but still very, very nice. All the details coming up in just a few minutes. I'm Roger Adelson. Stay tuned for more on the weekend edition of iFiber One News. From the iFiber One HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is iFiber One News. Your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. One of our top stories for this week was about how a Frontier Middle School student's idea raised money for families affected by the Oso landslide. Here with the story is Jeff Chu. Frontier Middle School cafeteria was hopping last week in Moses Lake, all for a good cause. About 100 Frontier students danced after school and raised about $950 to help families affected by the Oso mudslide disaster. The fundraising dance was 7th grader Devin Dietrich's idea. I was watching the news and I seen all the people that lost their homes and I thought I needed to do something about it and I came up with a fundraiser. Devin said when he learned about the mudslide that killed more than 30 and wiped out the small Snohomish County community, he had to help. Frontier always helps people out and I just thought that they needed help with donations because a lot of people lost their homes and I needed to do something. Frontier Middle School counselor Dana Santos, who is the Associated Student Body Leadership Advisor, helped Devin organize the event. Devin publicized the fundraiser through Facebook and other social media, which Santos said the school encourages in a positive way. Well, first, Devin, like he said, he wrote me a letter actually right after the mudslide happened. And, um, you know, his letter, he just said, you know, Ms. Santos, um, I saw everything that's going on in Oso, and I just feel like we should do something. And that's really kind of been a it's such a big piece of leadership at our school is if a kid is, um, if there's something they're passionate about or they want to do, we will do all we can to try and help them, you know, follow through with that and, and contribute somehow. David Smouse, Devin's friend and classmate, said he was happy to help. It's mainly about raising money for people that have died in the flood, in the mudslide. It made me feel really sad because people died and sacrificed their lives when, and they didn't even know it was going to happen. Frontier 7th grader Sherry Gonzalez said she was glad that Devin took a stand to help the Oso families. Uh, this fundraiser is mainly about helping out the victims for the mudslide and especially like helping out Devin because this was his idea to help out the victims and like just making sure that his activity net was the best that it could be. I think it was great that Devin uh, stood up to Ms. Santos to make sure that the mudside victims got help that they needed. So I think that made me feel like grateful that we have kids in our school that would step up to do things like that. Devin explained where the funds raised would go. It will be sent to the search and rescue, the Snohomish search and rescue to help people that lost their homes and to provide them like shelter and food and help. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. Another top story this week was how H&R Block contributed to granting wishes throughout Central and Eastern Washington. Reporter Lexi Perry has that story. A block party helps seriously ill children relax and enjoy time with friends, face painting, and even furry animals. Businesses in Moses Lake teamed up with H&R Block to raise money for the Wishing Star Foundation. The organization grants seriously ill children their sometimes final wishes. I've had friends who've had children who have gone through their program and they're all, thankfully, they're all still alive after all these years, but they were so thankful for being able to grant the wish to their child because, you know, after all the medical expenses, they couldn't afford to do anything. So it's a fabulous program for these families that are under so much stress. Studio Over Streets hosted game stations for children to play together, win prizes, and show off their art skills. 
The fire department gave tours of their trucks and offered fingerprinting activity for parents to help officials locate their children if ever lost. Harris says the H&R Block is already looking forward to planning another event next spring. For iFiber One News, I'm Lexi Perry. Now we take a look at individuals with warrants for their arrest in Grant County. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grant County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. We'll be right back after this.